Hey everyone, it's Jordan here with the Prudent Plastic Surgeon. I'm excited to be here with one of our key resources, Michael Jerkins from Panacea Financial. And Michael is not only um, you know, the founder and, and running Panacea Financial, but he's also a physician, which is a really cool juxtaposition. Um, and one of the things we're going to talk about today is, is something that I know is on the minds of a lot of people, especially as we're sort of in that period of transition uh, in July from, from kind of being a, a lot of people being trainees to being attendings or, or maybe changing jobs. And that's um, starting your own practice and just financially how to do that. And, and that's something Michael and his team are, are working to help fix and make easier for physicians. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Thank you, Jordan. Always a pleasure to chat with you. And as you mentioned, as a practicing doctor, it's important for our company to really help our community in ways that a lot of times um, other banks don't really experience firsthand. And as a, as, a, as a bank that's nationwide, we do consumer lending. So we'll do personal loans and student loan refinance, but we also help uh, provide loans, like you said, to start a practice, grow a practice, or even buy into a practice, which can be really difficult for doctors to know even where to begin. So uh, our whole process, we try to make as easy as possible and really a collaborative effort where we can answer questions, uh, teach a little bit and, and really help doctors understand if that's the best step and, and where to go, even if it's not with us. Um, but one of the things that we really ran into was folks trying to buy into a practice or buy into a surgery center. But they would go to a bank and the bank wouldn't allow them to have a loan because they would require the person buying in to have a lien on some sort of the assets, meaning that the surgery center would need to have some sort of um, collateral. And that's just really difficult for a lot of doctors coming into a practice and saying, hey, I wanna buy in, but actually the bank is gonna require um, some sort of lien on your assets and no one wants to do that. So it's very hard. So what we built was not only a product that is accessible for, as a practice buy-in loan, for instance, but it is completely unsecured. So it does not require any assets to back it up by the surgery center or office. Um, and so we've had a ton of uh, surgeons, dentists, and other uh, medical subspecialists use this as a way to be able to buy in and gain some ownership over the, the practice they're participating in. That's awesome. And so how, because for people just hearing about this, it can sound like a very daunting process. Yep. How long does this typically take? And like, if they're contacting you, what, what stuff should people have an order, meaning like what, what types of questions are you going to be asking them? That's right. So it's basic questions um, of the, the type of practice. Uh, we will um, try to look at the buy-in agreement that is available and some basic financial questions about the applicant and the business. But actually, it's pretty simple. The, the application is pretty simple. And when we get that package, we have such a streamlined process that we can, you know, approve or disapprove these, get a decision for you in a couple of days. I mean, it's really quick, which is very different from uh, some big name uh, banks that are out there that can take weeks for many times for you to get these uh, decisions back. So we value your time and we know it's, it's uh, important for you to get these decisions quickly. Yeah, I think that's really awesome. And before we, we wrap up and we, we've talked a lot about this specifically, but Panacea does a ton of stuff to help physicians financially. Um, so could you just give us kind of a, an overview of that just for anyone listening sure. who, who may be interested in those uh, yeah. items as well? Totally. Yeah. So as a practicing doctor, um, we co-founded this company with another practicing doctor, a co-resident of mine at the time, Dr. Ned Palmer. And essentially we wanted to build a company that made things easier for us um, as a community to access financing if we need it. We're not fans of debt at all, but the, the fact of the matter is, the reality is many of us need it to continue progressing through training and through practice. So we wanted to make something that made sense to our community, treated us in a unique way, and was accessible on our hours. So we really started out with a personal loan product. Our personal loan, we really started with and made it accessible to um, those in school and in residency and in practice as a way to avoid credit cards, as a quick way to get um, you know, money that can they can use things to consolidate high interest debt, to pay for unexpected bills. And um, it's kind of cool because those in school, we have no payments for a year. Those in training or residency is interest only payments. Um, and even those in, in practice, we have interest only payments for, for six months to make things easier. And then we built a student loan refinance product that was with no maximums, no co-signers needed, just like kind of common sense for our community 
um, since, since we have a very unique financial life cycle. And then we added this practice finance group that's been around and been booming. Essentially, um, it will provide any financing to a private practice that they would need to start a practice, grow a practice, buy equipment, buy in, anything they would need. Um, we provide that all completely uh, nationwide. That's awesome. Yeah. And I think highlighting also the, the personal loan product, because a lot of times people say, well, I don't, you, you talk about not getting in debt. Why are you talking about this? But it is very helpful for those certain times in your life. Like I know when I was uh, a, a chief resident and then a fellow, I had to pay for all these boards fees and yes. exam fees and all this stuff. And I just didn't have that money in, in my checking account. And so I ended up just racking up credit card debt yep. and it really sucked. Um, yeah, so yeah me, me too. That is huge for that. Totally. Me too. I had the same problem in residency and at the end of medical school, um, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in credit cards, very high interest rates. So we have tons of folks who essentially what they do is they use our personal loan that rates are less than half a credit card. The rates are right there on the website, by the way. It's not a range. It doesn't make you guess what you're going to get. It's the, here's the qualifications. Here are the rates. The rates are there. So there's no bait and switch. And the rates are less than half of the standard credit card. So people use those to refinance credit card debt. And that helps, you can help their credit score, make things a little bit easier and payment wise, and you don't have so much toxic interest expense building up. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us, Michael, and for everything you and everyone at Panacea does as our key resource. How is the best way for people to get in touch with you if they're interested in discussing some of this? Yeah, so you can go to panaceafinancial.com and on the website, we have plenty of information, but there's also a contact us area and a chat in the um, bottom right hand corner of the site you can message us there or send us an email through the contact us site and we will have one of our bankers get back to you fantastic thanks again awesome thank you